TU100 My Digital Life Sense and Sense Ability. Let's just have another look at the current version of the Polygon Drawing Program, which we last worked on as Programming Exercise 19. The top part of the script, involving the user input for the number of sides, looks like this. This program checks the number of sides entered by the user and rejects, simply giving the user a warning, if it's less than three. This is because there are no true polygons with fewer than three sides. And if you recall, there is a different problem if the number of sides is greater than 10, owing to the limits of the stage. And this will result in a distorted drawing. So in the next exercise, we're going to amend the program so that a number of sides greater than 10 is also rejected in the same way. So open project 22 and save it as project 22 underscore SOL. Replace the Boolean condition sides is less than three with another formed using an OR block so that the program also checks whether sides is greater than 10. Change the message to the user so that it says how many sides between 3 and 10 and invalid entry number of sides must be between 3 and 10. Save the project and run it a few times and check on the outcomes. So the amended parts of the script should look a bit like this. The completed program for this exercise is called project 22 underscore completed. In the final two exercises in this session, we're going to practice using Boolean operator blocks and selection constructs, the if and if else blocks, in creating programs using the sense board. So plug that in, make sure it's connected with a USB cable, open project 23 and save it with 23 underscore SOL. So we're going to complete a program that monitors sound levels using the SenseBoard's microphone and then plots them as a series of vertical lines on the stage. The plot should move from left to right and look a bit like this. When the plot reaches the right of the stage, the stage should be cleared and the plot resumes from the left so that it appears to sweep repeatedly from left to right. Make sure the plotter sprite is selected, in other words highlighted with a blue border. And note that plotter's costume is a small white square that will not be visible against a white stage background. Much of the program script is provided for you, but it's not complete. Uh, a summary of the program, it draws vertical lines using the pen trail of the plotter sprite starting at an X coordinate of minus 230, almost the far left hand of the stage. Each of these lines represents a sound level value. The height of the line is the same as the current sound reading. And note that the program uses a variable called volume. Before you run the program, study the script and try to work out the role of each block. Some of the blocks have not yet been introduced, so right click on these and select help to help you work out what they do. And this is a good way to check on any block, find out what it does before you even start to use it. The script may look complicated at first, but try to work through it block by block. Now run the program and see how varying the sound level shouting, whistling, hand clapping, switching on the radio around your sense board results in a series of vertical lines being drawn on the stage. Here's what the blocks in the incomplete script do. The block go to x minus 230 y 0 sets plotter's coordinates to minus 230 0 so that it starts near the left hand edge of the stage. Any previous drawings on the stage are cleared using the clear block. The pen size is set to 5 using the block set pen size to 5. This gives a thicker line than the default. Then the program enters a loop defined by the forever block. In each loop, volume is set to the value given by the sense board's microphone. Via the block, set volume to sound sensor value. 
The block pen down sets the pen down ready to draw. Plotter's position is changed. Its Y coordinate, which was 0, is set to the current sound level by the block set Y to volume. Since the pen is down, this results in a vertical line being drawn corresponding to the sound level. The block pen up lifts the pen up from the stage again. Plotter's Y coordinate is reset to 0 by the block set Y to 0. Since the pen is up, no line is drawn. Plotter's X coordinate is increased by 10 using the block change X by 10. This moves Plotter 10 steps to the right, towards the right of the stage, ready to draw the next vertical line. These are the pen lines that mark the trail of the Plotter sprite. However, there's a problem. The display quickly runs off the right of the stage. What should happen is that once the plotter gets to the right of the stage, it starts back at the left of the stage again and continues. In this way, the plot of lines will move repeatedly from left to right across the stage. To achieve this, position an if block directly under the change x by 10 block. That's within the forever loop. Set this block so that it checks whether the X coordinate is greater than or equal to 230, near the right hand edge of the stage. If so, then the X coordinate should be reset to minus 230. And to achieve this, you'll need to use two new blocks from the motion palette. The X position, which evaluates to the current X coordinate value, and set x to, which sets the x coordinate to the input value. Save your project and then run the program and make some noise. You should see that the program is still not quite working, so have a go at fixing it. Press the pause button on the video and try it for yourself. The program does not clear the vertical lines from the previous sweep across the stage. If the coordinate is greater than or equal to 230, as well as resetting the X coordinate to minus 230, the stage should be cleared of all previous drawings. You should position a clear block inside your IF blocks jaws to do this. You may have wondered why you were asked to have your program check whether the X coordinate is greater than or equal to 230, rather than simply whether the X coordinate is equal to 230. The reason is that this makes the program more flexible. Imagine uh, your IF block checked only whether the X coordinate is equal to 230. Now suppose you want to alter the program to move the vertical lines closer together. To do this, you'd reduce the input value currently 10 in your block change by so that the plotter moves by smaller steps from left to right. For instance, you might change the 10 to an 8. So explain to yourself what could go wrong. The problem with this is that the X coordinate would never equal 230. It would start at minus 230, then increase in steps of 8, reaching 226, and then 234. As the X coordinate is never 230, the IF block's Boolean condition is never true, and so the X coordinate is never reset to minus 230. And so the plot does not return to the left of the stage. Having the IF block check whether the X coordinate is equal to or greater than 230 means that when the X coordinate reaches 234, it is reset to minus 230 as we required. The completed program for this exercise can be found as Project 23 completed. We'll finish there and we'll come back in part three and look at another program that makes use of the sense board and registers sound.